So hip hikes using an anti-rotational component are simply the same as regular hip hikes with the added challenge of working against rotation a little bit more. And so this is going to force the lower leg to do a little bit more work as far as stabilization is concerned. And it's going to make the obliques do a little bit more work. So ultimately it's just providing additional challenge to stability as we go through our dynamic hip hike drill. Again, to reiterate the purpose of the hip hikes themselves, our focus is to get the foot and the ankle and the muscles of the hip and the lumbopelvic complex to integrate and work well together. This is super important for single leg exercises as well as gait and our ability to absorb shock and balance. Root yourself through the foot, making sure your tripod stays intact. You're going to let your hips shoot out to the side and then you pull the hip up and in using a combination of your opposite QL and uh, same side glute muscles and then you're just moving back and forth through the hip. 